Yo, 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 Minecrafters. Generic B here once again with another Minecraft video. Uh, hey, so I'm going to show you my calculator here in a second, but I was goofing around and I was checking out the new uh, records. So I thought they weren't working, but they seem to actually work. Like, even this broken one? Check this out. Like, listen. It's like a Halloween. <laughs> it's like a Halloween sound effects. What is this? All right. Anyway, um, creepy. So, uh, here, let me turn down the cows before I get too far into this business. Um, <clears throat> so I showed you guys this in my last video, my organic free-range cow farm. Um, but I've added something. Over here, you'll see, as they get flushed, over here you'll see my cow cooker. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's no cow cooker. Where's the huge tower with the fall damage and the lava and the whatnots? Yeah, okay. So, let's go down and see it. So there's my cows. There's the life and death switch that you've seen. And there is the McJinny grill. <laughs> How's that sound, McJinny? Da -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. Yeah, so uh, the flames here are just for decoration. I put these little iron bars because I thought that'd be kind of cool, kind of like a grill. Um, but let's see this bad boy in action. Got my cow. Now normally you could take your uh, your wheat, grab some wheat here, you know, and do your breed breed and push the button and all that stuff. And I will do a tutorial for the farm part. Um, I just have to make a couple more changes. I'm not real happy. You see that guy? You just hop back out. Not super happy with that. I'll fix that and then I'll make a tutorial. But hit the button, cow goes down. The switch is on death. Death. I like it goes down as death. It's kind of like the gladiators, you know, where the emperor is like thumbs up, thumbs down. I like it. It's like a Reddit switch. <laughs> uh, and I also like there's lava up here. And sometimes it drips and it kind of looks like blood. So let's, we're waiting and here goes. Oh, oh, poor thing. Oh, ah, 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 oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, steak galore. And then it's all open, ready to do it again. Uh, let me show you how it works. I don't want to make this video crazy long. Uh, I built one out here. As some of those crazy Australian Minecrafters say, over here. Uh, okay, so before I lead him through this, basically it is, it's a water channel uh, that leads into a, let's see, I'll probably break that and that to show you, eh, that guy. Uh, it is a water channel <clears throat> that leads into a hole. Uh, you notice there's no signs holding back the water. That's the one thing so far that I've, uh, the only solution I can come up with, uh, I can't have a sign there, and I'll show you why in a minute. Why can't I? Well, maybe I can now. Ooh, I'll have to play with that. Anywho, um, and then over two blocks and up one block is the lava. And right now I just have it set at, uh, that this is the fourth block of lava um, with a sign underneath. That way I don't have to worry about putting a bunch of extra signs everywhere. Uh, but the placement here is very, very key. Um, cows are, we all know cows are one and a half blocks tall. They're also, they may be one block wide, but if they are, they're a very, very fat one block wide. Uh, and what I mean by that is, uh, it's really hard to get them to fit down 
Like if you built a, a hole like that and you pushed a cow around to try to get them to fall in, it's very, very difficult to get them to fall in. Um, so nine times out of ten, there's always like a little bit of cow hanging over into the next block. And that's, the, that's kind of how this works. Uh, so you can see the cow would go this way, and instead of just falling straight down, a little bit of cow is going to hit that lava, which is going to set them on fire. Um, but not so much that the cow will get caught in this, and then as soon as a cow hits lava uh, full on, they'll swim up, and they'll just stick up in the lava. Sometimes the, the items drop, sometimes they get burned. This one works all the time. Uh, so let me put these back. Uh, and then it is a two block drop. So they come in, they get hit with the lava. Uh, it's a two block drop. And the reason for that is so they don't jump back up and somehow hit that lava. Uh, and then there is a uh, pressure plate here. And let's see how my throwing skills are. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> so as soon as the pressure plate goes down, this piston comes out and it crushes the cow while they're on fire. Uh, you can't just set a cow on fire now. Their armor is so much that uh, they'll actually withstand it. Um, a fully full health cow. Um, whoa, look at that. Oh no, now I'm going to die in seven days. <laughs> Here. Seven days. Anywho. Um, that is kind of strange, isn't it? Uh, anywho, yeah, so you either have to have them uh, go through lava or and then die through fall damage, or you have to have them set on fire somehow and they get crushed. So that's what I'm doing. So let's show it in. Come here. Come here, cow. Get in there. All right, he's in. He's floating along. Boom, a little bit falls down. Now he's getting crushed. And all the tasty, tasty treats fall down. I've done way too much testing on this. So far, not a single uh, piece of loot has been burnt. Uh, so I consider this to be dandy fine. Um, <clears throat> I was playing around with having, somehow getting a water stream to carry it away. I can't figure it out because of this pressure plate. A lot of times the items will stay on that pressure plate. And then, obviously, this is taking up a space so the water can't go through. Someone can figure that out. Please make a video and post it. And if you do make a video response, uh, some people have, and I really appreciate it. Uh, if you do, please remember to actually test it in the video. Uh, run some cows through it. Show me. I'm like, uh, was it Oklahoma? Is Oklahoma the show me state? All those. I don't know. All right, so let me go sleep real quick. Oh, I was going to do my little Jenny B sleeping thing, but oh well. So here's how you make one. What's this, a tutorial? Let's do it. Um, grab some blockage here really quick. Stuff I know that I'm going to need. Uh, that. I'm going to need some redstone. I'm going to need a torch. Where'd that torch? Where'd that torch be at? There we go. And I'll need a pressure plate. Oh, and I'll need... I don't need this, but <clears throat> I'll use it anyway. Alright, so the first thing is get yourself a nice little path for your water. Get that going. All right. Perfect. Right? So whatever your system is, you know how we've got the uh, cow elevators. In my system over there, that's all that's going on is the cow goes up a little water elevator and then gets pushed into one of these guys. Um, ignore the TV in the background. Alright, so a couple digs here. Um, I want to put the lava coming this way, which means, oh, I'm missing a sign. A sign is what I need. Okay. Uh, is that right? Nope, of course not right there. 
and nope. Oh yeah, I guess I could. Uh, so I want the lava. Lava moves four spaces. So one, two, three, four. You may be able to put a source block of lava right there. I don't know. This works for me. I'm sticking with what works, right? So now that's going to go out, and because the sign is there, it's just going to stick right out like that. Fantastic. Um, okay, so now the next thing, we're going to put the pressure plate here, right? So the cow comes in, <clears throat> hits that lava, falls down, hits that. So now we have to activate a piston. And the way I like to do it is run the uh, redstone under there. I actually go down one, cut out a couple of these, and put those. And then this, so when I'm on it, this uh, torch goes on, which powers this block. So I want to put my piston right there. Perfect. Yep, got that. <clears throat> yeah, so I can, you know, cover this. Uh, can I cover it there? Ah, no, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, so I cover it back up. Right. Uh, then I want to figure out a way to actually get down here. I think this should work because the cow will come down and get smashed up against that block. Uh, you know, I'll put one there just for <clears throat> just for safety's sake. And yeah, then just make sure I climb out. Um, start encasing this a little bit. But yeah, you get the idea. Ooh, beep! I got an email. If you guys could hear that loud, loud email beep. And then so uh, you would cover this up. It doesn't have to be glass at all. It just needs to be two blocks high so the cow can move through it and jump around a little bit. Usually you don't want them to jump around. They're a block and a half high. This is two blocks tall. Um, a little bit of jumping here is just fine <clears throat> because that way they it just helps the little jump onto the lava. And then, yeah, that's it. So basically, cow comes in. They're all like, oh man, I'm water, I love water. Hey, what's that nice shiny thing? And then they hit it, catch on fire, fall down, get smashed up. And as long as they're there getting smashed up and on fire, this piston uh, will be uh, extended until they die. And then <clears throat> even though the piston will still be extended, uh, the loot's right here, you just climb down and get it. That is it. Simple. I know that was a quick tutorial, but it is a simple, simple setup that took me forever to figure out. I mean, I feel like such a complete and utter genius now. A genius moron. I'm very happy that I figured it out, and I feel like an idiot that it took that long. But I did it, so we'll finish up waiting for the cow. Burger, burger, burger. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, and the look of his face. What? What? Nothing can save you now. Awesome. All right, thanks guys. And uh, if you like it, be sure to click the little thumbs up button and tell everybody and subscribe to my channel. All right, I will see you next time. Ciao!